POC Network here with another unboxing coming to you from two different companies, actually. Uh, the hardware company is represented by Sunoff, and that's the company that made this product here, as well as the software solution that makes it work, which is by a company called EWILink. And EWILink has designed an Android-based operating system, or just a hub solution, that can be used on hardware, such as Sunoff's panel here, to be able to act as a hub and control center for all of your smart home devices, or specific ones that it's compatible with. So it's technically a focus on both companies. We have Sunoff, and we have EBLink, the makers of the software that makes this product work. And what this is, is again, a control center and hub for smart home devices. This is specifically the Sunoff NS Panel Pro, which is an Android-based touchscreen Zigbee compatible hub. So it controls a number of Sonoff's products, smart home products, as well as all of the Zigbee products that are out there in the world, which are a lot of Zigbee products, hundreds of Zigbee products out there. And uh, again, a number of Sonoff products alone, the exact count, I'm not sure. I know that I don't think it supports all of Sonoff's products just yet, but it supports a number of their Wi-Fi based products, some of which you might be able to see right here. But the whole point of this is it's able to bring everything together and act as your hub and control everything from the touchscreen interface of the panel, as well as, of course, the app. Everything is better with an app, so that way you can control it from anywhere. That being said, our purpose today is to just go into some of the features of this and talk about some of its pros and what it brings to the table. Got some example devices out here to show you what kind of devices it can control. And then of course, uh, you're gonna go to plcnetwork.net once we've had time to actually install this and see what we think about it. What's really neat about this is that it is a color touchscreen panel that you can install anywhere in your home or office or anywhere else you're trying to start set up a smart home network in. And it can be installed in two different ways. You have the wall mounted option and it comes with this wall plate here that allows you to easily install it to the wall anywhere that you can send it just two wires. Yeah, all you need is the live and you need the neutral wire which connects to the back of the unit right here, live and neutral. This does not require a ground wire, so it just requires those two wires. So as long as you can run power to it for wherever you're installing it, you can install this on the wall. So you have your mounting plate, and then you have your face plate, and then of course the screen goes in there like that. And that is for those who are looking to install this on a wall. And it looks pretty cool, just like any other touchscreen would on your walls. However, of course, what's neat about this product that's worth talking about is not only can you install this on a wall, but you can also install it just about anywhere you want, like a Google speaker or an Alexa speaker or anything like that, because the company thought of one thing that many other companies haven't, and that is creating this neat little base here that it can install into it. it installs into this base, I'll actually pop this open. And with this, they give you hardware as well. Uh, with this, the panel plugs into here, and like I said, like a Google speaker or anything else, you can install that anywhere. And this is, again, one thing that most companies or just about every other company hasn't really thought of outside of maybe Alexa or Google, but the companies that design panels like this typically don't do this. Companies like, we'll just throw a name out there, like Newbright, uh, don't have something like this. It has to be wired directly into a wall. So this gives you that versatility uh, to install it anywhere you want. And of course, you just make use of a cable like this. Um, this is just a typical power cable with your, tip, with your typical three wires. You have your, your live, your neutral, and your ground. Again, it doesn't require ground, so the ground's taped off here. And by running this through the back here and wiring it directly to the back of this and putting it all together, this can now be plugged in anywhere into Edison power and you don't have to worry about putting it into your wall. But moving back towards its features and options uh, that really makes this a unique product is the fact that it is not stuck within a singular ecosystem like some of these products are. This is a Zigbee compatible hub, specifically a Zigbee 3.0 compatible hub. So it is compatible with Zigbee 3.0 devices and probably backwards compatible with some of the other Zigbee devices as well. But again, there are hundreds of Zigbee devices out there. Devices like some of the stuff we're seeing here, you can put cameras on here, light bulbs, switches, even have temperature and humidity sensors, 
door sensors. Uh, then of course, you know, you can really dive into some of the other op options out there that support Zigbee. There's a lot of brands out there that deliver products for, you know, your AC control or just HVAC, as well as door locks, sirens, and even ceiling fans uh, using Zigbee modules that go above the fan, of course, you know, and act as a switch. Uh, you can convert or replace anything in your house with a Zigbee compatible device, virtually. Uh, including your garage door. Uh, you can control your garage door with Zigbee with the right equipment. If they don't make a garage door opener that's specifically Zigbee, then there's probably some kind of a, a module you can install behind you, the, the normal controller of your garage door to be able to do it from there. So Zigbee is a very powerful platform like Z-Wave and the new Matter. Uh, it's just a very powerful standard that brings a lot of devices from a lot of companies together and this hub can control them. And from the color touchscreen display, again, you can control everything. So you have your device control for turning things on, off, or changing some of the settings. You have scene control, you have energy monitoring, you have uh, access to your cameras. You can actually view your cameras live on the screen of this, as well as having two-way communication. So if you have multiple panels installed in your home, or you're just wanting to check in on your kids or with your animals or anything like that from abroad, say you're at work or you're traveling, you can pull up the app and be able to communicate with two-way you know, two audio back and forth with the panel and the app, all within a 3.95 inch color touchscreen display. And uh, of course, you know, it comes with many other configurable options. You have wallpapers and stuff on there that you can customize. I mean, it's, it's a touchscreen and it's a smart touchscreen with a lot of versatility. It even has a light sensor. As a built-in light sensor, so you have a microphone, you have the speaker for the two-way audio, uh, audio, but it also has a light sensor so that it can auto-dim the screen for you uh, when it doesn't need to be so bright. And then, of course, it has integrated support with other platforms. So you have access to Google Assistant, you have access to Amazon's Alexa, and you can be able to play back and forth between those devices. So if you want to turn something on using Alexa or Google or something, something that a device that's on this, you can easily do that using your voice through that integration between your favorite digital assistant and eWay Link's app. It also has some integration with Home Assistant, which is pretty big. Uh, I say some because I, I, I guess uh, from what I hear, it's a little tricky. It's not really hard, but you it do, you, you do have to be familiar or at least comfortable with Home Assistant to get it work working because you have to have a specific install environment. Uh, you have to be using Home Assistant's own operating system. Uh, if you, I don't think you can do this using Docker because I think you need supervisor installed, right? Yes, I'm getting a thumbs up. You need supervisor installed. So you need to, that add-ons because it's an add-on so it will adapt with home assistant or work integrate with home assistant but you have to have a specific installed scenario where you have the supervisor within home assistant enabled and loaded with add-on access and then you install that support via add-ons and then you'll be able to configure some of your devices and control them from home assistant as well which then brings you into a much deeper integration because through home assistant you can integrate all sorts of companies together Again, Sunoff's NS Panel Pro. It comes in white, it comes in black, it can be installed on the, on the wall, it can be installed into this cool little base unit that can be put anywhere and plugged into the wall. It integrates with just about everything, supposedly, on paper. We haven't tested it yet. And it connects to your network via Wi-Fi. That's one thing I didn't mention. It just connects, this is a Wi-Fi uh, wi 2.4 gigahertz device. It doesn't support five gigahertz, just 2.4 gigahertz. But what's also really interesting about this, uh, it's price point. It's MSRP is $120 or $119.99. It's a little pr pricey, but not really. If you compare it to all of the other touch panel solutions out there, uh, including some of the ones that aren't even the actual hub, it's just an access point to be able to access whatever the hub is and control some of its devices. A lot of these companies sell solutions like this for a lot more than $120. Uh, I mentioned earlier a company by the name of Newbright uh, who doesn't do stuff like this. Uh, Newbright has a very fancy touchscreen display. Looks cool. Uh, we've tested it before and um, yeah, it's expensive. Hundreds of dollars to buy into one of those. And then of course they're, they're system really relies mostly on you having multiple panels. You can run everything off of one, but it really does benefit more from having panels in some of the main sections of your home because it's more of a focus on everything that this does, plus it has like an intercom system kind of thing that they're going for. And it's really just a, a way of pitching to get as many cells as they can. And uh, their product is way overpriced. It's a cool product, like I said, it's a cool product, way overpriced. 
This is not overpriced. $120 for this, and you don't need any other panels. You just need this. It is your hub, it is your control point. You can do everything else using your phone. Or if you get a Zigbee compatible touchscreen, that isn't a hub, maybe that should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. So it all depends on what EWI Link software is willing to integrate with or work with. But again, Zigbee, Zigbee. Zigbee is such a great protocol and it brings everybody together. So you might be able to have non-hub touchscreen access somewhere else in your home uh, for a great price to extend onto this if you wanted to, or just have a number of these. Regardless, the price point is pretty cool at $120. So that's it. This is the, again, Sonoff NS Panel Pro touchscreen, Android-based touchscreen display with software coming, coming from you from eWe Link, and its purpose is to connect you with all of your Zigbee devices in your home or your office or anywhere else you want to start. Regardless if you want to start on a wall or sit on a table somewhere, it's very versatile, it's a nice looking product, and it's running EWE Link's software that brings everything together and makes it all happen. And thanks to their partnership with Sonoff, you can get it for an affordable price. Uh, so now, of course, you're gonna wanna check out the review. Uh, this is where we actually install this and see what we think about this right now. This is just our first impression, taking a look, taking a look at the unit. Of course, when you buy the unit, that you just get this. I believe this is an optional accessory. Of course, Zigbee devices, you gotta go buy your own. We just have these here to test it out with. But check out the review, see what we say about it later on once we actually test it out. But uh, pocnetwork.net will have that full review and we'll let you know what we think. If you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe below and follow us. And of course, tick that like button and let us know that you like this specific video and as well as using the comments to below the video to talk about this product amongst each other or even us and or share any questions that you might have and of course we thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time if you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover remember to subscribe right here subscription button click it you're going to want to there's lots of videos interviews previews all sorts of stuff button click it